we're going to move on to thinking about two categorical variables. So if we have two categorical variables, uh, we do similar kinds of summary statistics, but instead of just a frequency table, we're going to do something that's called a two-way table. So in a two-way table, you have two different categorical variables. In this case, I've got marital status here. Let's write that. And then my other variable here is employer. And employer is another categorical variable which has two categories, that you're self-employed or you work for someone else. So in a two-way table, it doesn't matter which variable you put as the rows and which you put on the columns, but this is a summary of my big data set. So I had you know, more than 2,000 people, 2,000 rows or observations in my original data, and now I've condensed it down to this little two-way table. And I've got a bunch of questions here that we could answer using the two-way table all about proportions. Just like with the frequency table, in order to uh, begin here, we need the totals, which I haven't written on, on the chart. So let's add the totals. Um, we're going to need to figure out the total number of self-employed people. So 41 plus 123 plus 41, 6, and 20. And let's add those all up. And that should be 231. And then we're also going to add up how many people are employed by someone else. So 359 and down and down. And I got 2,029. So that kind of makes sense to me. Most people work for someone else. A smaller uh, percentage of them are self-employed. And then we also need the totals for the rows as well. So we also need the total here. So we need to know the total number of people who are divorced, the total number of people who are married, etc. So I'm just going to work through and do those sums as well. And then I just need one more grand total in the corner. And so that's the total total from the whole data set. So I can find that two different ways. I could find the 231 plus 2029, or I could add up all of these numbers. Um, and that's a good way to check your work is try it one way and then do it the other and make sure that the numbers come out to be the same. All right, I got 2260, and that's slightly a slightly smaller number than I had before for my total. That's because, again, I dropped the NAs for both marital status and employer. So I, I'm got, I lost some missing data. But we've got um, 2,260 people in total now. So now that we have all those totals, uh, it should be relatively straightforward to figure out the proportions. So it says, what proportion of people are self-employed? And that means I want to know out of everyone, how many are self-employed. So I would just do 231 divided by 2260, and that's about 0 0.10. Then I'm going to think about what proportion of married people are self-employed. So that means I'm going to think about this row in my data set. Out of the married people, what proportion of them are self-employed. So the bottom of my fraction is going to be 979 and the top is going to be 123. And I got 0.126-ish. I think I'll skip the next one. We could talk about it in synchronous class and then we'll do the last one. What proportion of self-employed people are married? And so for that one, we're going to think about just in this column, just out of the self-employed people, how many of them are married? And so that's going to be the 123 again, but the denominator, the bottom of the fraction is going to be different. And that one is going to be the total for the self-employed people, the 231. And I got 0 0.532 for that proportion. So this brings up a really important point, which is that order matters. So the proportion of married people who are self-employed, that was the 0 0.126, is not the same as the proportion of self-employed people who are married. And that was the 0 0.532. So 0 0.126 is not equal to 0 0.532, so it matters what you use as the denominator of your fraction. So you have to read the questions pretty carefully to figure out what it's really asking for. Another type of summary statistic that we sometimes do when we have two categorical variables is a difference in proportions. So this is a way to see if the proportion of a variable is different based on a different variable. So for example, the proportion of self-employed people who are married minus the proportion of self-employed people who are divorced. So we've got that 0.53. 
uh, minus the 0.18, and we could find that difference, uh, 0 0.35. So those two proportions seem pretty different from one another. Um, as we go on in this course, we're going to learn how to use statistics to say if they're statistically different from one another, but those look pretty different uh, from one another to me. So let's find another difference in proportions. We're going to find the proportion of divorced people who are self-employed, the proportion of divorced people who are employed by someone else, and then we'll find the difference in proportions. So I think I'm going to leave that one for synchronous class. So those are the summary statistics, the numbers that we can use to summarize two categorical variables. Of course, we also have data visualizations or pictures. So I could do a bar chart, but I could uh, make it kind of a side-by-side -side bar chart. So I could look at uh, the divorced people and see, okay, most of them work for someone else, but a small proportion of them are self-employed. Uh, and it looks like that trend is the same across all the marital statuses. More people work for someone else than are self-employed. And again, I could probably read off some of these numbers or at least estimate them based on the bars. So, you know, the number of divorced people who work for someone else, you know, it's between 250 and 500. Maybe it's, you know, 375, something like that. Uh, that would be my guess. But again, mostly the idea of having a picture is to show you the overall trend. Another option, if you didn't want to do a side-by-side -side bar chart, is to do a stacked or segmented bar chart. And with this one, the bar shows me how many people total are divorced or how many total people are married. Again, almost a thousand married people in my data set. And then it, the colors show me of those how many people work for someone else and how many of them are self-employed. Um, and again, you can kind of see the overall trend. Maybe it helps you see the proportions in the categories. It looks like a larger proportion of people are self-employed in the married category than in these other, these other categories. And of course, um, order matters for bar charts too. If I wanted to, I could do a side-by-side -side bar chart where I have self-employed and someone else um, as my categories and then put side-by-side -side all the different marital statuses. And this would let me see you know, how many people uh, have each marital status within a particular employment status. Um, again, I could do the stacked bar chart. Uh, I think this one is harder to read than the, the one the other way around, but depending on the story you're trying to tell, it could be the right choice. So let's just do a little bit of a summary. So for one categorical variable, we've got the summary statistics, which were a frequency table and a relative frequency table. And then we had some data visualization which was a bar chart or a pie chart. And then when we had two categorical variables, our summary statistics, we had a two-way table, a proportion, or a difference in proportions. And then for data visualization, we had a side-by-side -side bar chart or a segmented bar chart. And we're going to do this same kind of exploratory data analysis with summary statistics and data visualizations for every type of variable we encounter in this course.